Black Ops 1? LP, say it isn't so. Why are you on Black Ops 1? Oh no, Thunder finally got to you. He flipped you. Oh man, no. <laughs> Guys, I'm not back on Black Ops 1. Uh, this is an extremely old gameplay that I was actually pretty happy that it was on my hard drive so I didn't have to play Black Ops 1. <laughs> And it's, it's just because it covers my topic for today. And, uh, you know, it's... I'm pretty sure this is probably just a few months after Modern Warfare 3 was released because I'm playing by myself. And I haven't played Black Ops 1 by myself without Thunder. Because, you know, Thunder's usually the one that, that talks me into playing it. I haven't played... Well, first of all, I haven't played Black Ops in months. But I haven't played Black Ops by myself since probably early 2012. So that's how old this gameplay is. But anyway... Look at that knife. Oh my god. It's like in this game you had a 360 degree knife. In. Anyway, the first few minutes of this game really epitomized this Black Ops 1 for me. Uh, and I'm going to get into it. And I'm going to say right now, this is not a Defend Thunder commentary. It's just Thunder just kind of gave me the idea for the commentary. You know, Thunder's been having a little bit of problems with Black Ops 2 lately. He's gone back to Black Ops 1. Yes, he still plays Black Ops 2, but you know, he started playing Black Ops 1 more. Um, he's kind of getting on Treyarch a little bit about some of the mistakes they've made with Black Ops 2. And he says that Black Ops 1 is a far better game than Black Ops 2. And, you know, his subscribers are pretty heavy in favor of Black Ops 1. I would say my subscribers are more in favor of Modern Warfare 2. Um, and sustain the Black Ops, they're probably more in favor of Black Ops 2 than you guys are. So, uh, I want to ask you guys... And, and remember, when I share my opinion on here, it does not make it a fact. I've said it before, you guys are subscribed to some jerk faces. <laughs> because when I share my opinion on here, it is just my opinion. It does not make it a fact. And people get so up in arms about it, like some people do. And, and they don't realize that I'm not saying it as a fact. So, I want to know what you guys think. I'm not asking if Black Ops 1 is a better game than Black Ops 2. I'm asking you if you and which one you enjoy more. Because asking which one is better is purely objective. So, but that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say which one I think is better. And again, it's just my opinion. And I'm going to kind of go against Thunder here a little bit. See what kind of a different response I can get out of my subscribers. Because like I always say, different, different audience, different response. So, in my opinion, Black Ops 1, and I'm just going to get it right out of the way... Black Ops 1 is, is an, an abysmal game. <laughs> did they get some things right with this game? Uh, yes, they did. Especially coming after Modern Warfare 2 and the train wreck that was for the last six months that game was out during its prime year. And they fixed a lot of things from that game. They really toned down the explosives. Uh, they toned down the shotguns. They toned down the sniping. They, they did a, a lot of good things in Black Ops. But there's one of the, the worst things they did. And that they left in last stand. And the biggest problem I had with this game, and I'm not even talking connections, was just the hit detection in general. Lag or no lag. I felt like I could be five feet away from somebody, fire a whole clip into their chest, and only two or three of the bullets would register. And it's like the game couldn't even think fast enough to even know that I shot the rest of the bullets that I did. I don't know, it's weird. But the connections were a problem, too. It's funny when I see, and I, I don't mean Thunder in general, there's a lot of people. It's funny when I see people, you know, say, oh, it's a Treyarch, you know, Black Ops 2, I can't believe how bad this is lagging. It's like, guys, do you not remember Black Ops 1? Look at me, I couldn't even remember how to throw a C4 because <laughs> it was different than Modern Warfare 3. But uh, So the connection issues, the weapons sound like cap guns. I mean, I could sit here and I could rip on Black Ops 1. I could do it all day. Uh, but I know you guys have heard all the complaints. I don't want to make this a complaint commentary. So, when it comes to Black Ops 2, uh, I think the pace is much better. I think the, the flow is much better. Uh, I do think the maps are struggling. Uh, it definitely has some, some imbalances with sniping and shotguns and all, all that nonsense. But when it comes down to me, it's just which one plays better and which one feels better. And to me, that's Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 has some massive, massive connection issues, but I feel like the hit detection is better than Black Ops 1. I felt like even on a really strong connection in a good lobby on Black Ops 1, I could still have a lot of problems dropping people because the hit detection was so bad. Uh, I, don't, I don't really feel that way in Black Ops 2. Uh, I just feel the, the pace is better in Black Ops 2, 
the game is better, the customization is better, the 10 point system is better. But again, these are all just my opinions. Uh, let me know what you guys think uh, down in the comments. Let's really get a good discussion going. Uh, I might even get Thunder. <laughs> Maybe I'll get Thunder to do a dual comp and we'll battle out which one's better, Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2. Let me know if you'd like to see that down in the comments. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Later.